So I'm uh, finally migrating from my R720 to an R730. The R720 has a Perk H710P, and the R730 has a Perk H730P. Don't mind the dust. I don't clean ever. <laughs> I'm going to blow out the R730 once I'm done. But the first step is going to be moving the drive. Well, no. First step is backups. So I already backed everything up. Should do this over a trash can. All right, so the first step should be backing everything up. And then before going to the new RAID controller, it would be a good idea to uh, <laughs> um, make sure the firmware is up to date. And uh, I would clear all the settings if you don't already have stuff set up on there. It's nice to kind of just reset things to defaults. So, yeah. Get these drives on over. And then from there, I'm going to power this up. All right, so the drives have been swapped over, dust and all. <laughs> and it's time to fire it up. Hopefully, for the sake of speed, it won't try to do a power recharacterization, but it might. And what should happen is, is it'll ask me if I want to import my foreign configs. And just looking at the front of the server right now, all lights on my drives are green, so that's good. Yeah, it's doing uh, power characterization. So, this is going to take a while. I'm going to step aside and uh, let it do its thing and I'll be back. Well, apparently it uh, skipped the message. So, it's trying to uh, it tried to boot back into ESXi, so I had to reboot it. And hopefully it'll take a second here and then I can just uh, pop on over into the rate controller keep my hands over the keys necessary or it'll just skip it I think because I have this set up with uh, UFI and secure boot it might be um, skipping a lot of boot up stuff I normally see so it looks like I'm going to have to go to BIOS in this case I don't think it'll give me it's not giving me the prompt for control R to get in the rake controller yeah I'm going to have to go into BIOS It may have just automatically imported them for me, for all I know. I've never done this before in all honesty, but I figured do it on video, because if I'm wondering it, other people are too. Virtual disk management. Yeah, it doesn't see the drives, so... Manage foreign configuration, preview... And we import. Do I want to import? Yes. Wow, is he enough? So now, we'll go back into virtual disk management. And it looks like it's there, so the next step will be to boot into ESXi. And I'm using ESXi, so the question will be, will these Pop back up. I'm trying to think. Oh uh, no. How did I? It's been a while since I've had to do this. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to remember this here one of these days. <laughs> This should be one of them. I 
Man, it's gonna step away. Well, it took a little cheating on ChatGPT, but I ended up getting my uh, solid state drives back. And uh, all my virtual machines are kind of ready. <laughs> I have to uh, fix a bunch of stuff. I tried looking at the instructions on how to back up settings from my R720 to my R730, but I just like, screw it. The only thing I'm going to lose is my network settings, so... Uh, yeah, that was a easier swap than I was expecting, though. It was just a matter of using the right commands to get these back into ESXi. And I will leave those commands in the description that I used if you need them for yourself, but... Otherwise, this is mostly just about seeing what it takes to move drives from an H710 to an H730 RAID controller. So, hopefully that was helpful, and thanks for watching.